Chicago mayor and uh, big-time corporate Democrat Rahm Emanuel went on CNN and he discussed the direction that the Democratic Party should go in. Um, now, I'm going to show you the clip and then I'll come back and decode some of the bullshit for you. But pay close attention because a lot of what he says here is subtle and his real point is just underneath the surface. So uh, let's watch, then we'll come back and I'll break it down. Let me get you, though, on the leadership, because you had, you know, mm -hmm. fe your fellow Democrat, Representative Seth Moulton of Massachusetts, come out. He was asked on CBS, do you want this Democratic leadership? Do you want Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer on, on the bumper stickers going into 2018? And he said, no way. And then he said, start winning with leadership that the American people can trust, not the old, tired, Democratic partisan leadership. A new generation of leaders yeah. who are going to put the country first. Ouch. Tough words, but is he right? Yeah. I, look, as a, you, now you're asking me as a former DCCC chair, not the former chief of staff, so let me be really clear. What I want is candidates to reflect the districts they're running from. Not what we as a national party think, but what the people they have to represent, which is why in 06 and 2008 we won a collective 54 seats because we recruited candidates who reflect the districts and ran on a message and a story from minimum wage and other policies that again reinvested in America and the American people who build this country. To me, the core message and the core recruitment has to be about people that reflect their districts, not mm. the national party. And mm. if you build people that do that in the targeted districts that are winnable, doesn't mean, look, if you go back, Democrats in the House level, okay, look, we're at the lowest level since 27 at the Congress, the lowest level at the State House since 25. It is at a very low point, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you need candidates not from the city, Rural areas are uh, more Republican. They're in persuadable suburban districts. So on education, on the environment, on quality of life issues, that's core that Democrats can build a winning coalition in metropolitan suburban areas if we focus on candidates and the story that works for the voters that are living their lives in those districts. That's where the majority is for us, and we have to be focused like a laser on where that majority is winnable. Look, you're the one who led the effort for Dems to retake Congress in 2006. You know what this is like. They're wrapping me in the control room. Yes or no answer. Is this leadership, Pelosi, Schumer, the leadership to do that? I, 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 Poppy, I really like you. I don't think that's a good question. So Man, therefore, you did that I, to Dan Abash, too. You did that to Dan Abash. I'm going to do it to you, too. I, I know you don't, don't like the don't question, the but yes or relevant. no? Uh, that, well, look, yes, it's, fi it's a fine leadership, but what I want is a candidate that's going to be the leader of their district, and that's what I'm looking for. That's how you recruit candidates that win a majority, because I don't think it's really a question that's relevant. It's a question that's All relevant right. in, wa in the Washington corridor. We're it's not a question relevant in the suburban districts across the country. We are okay, so uh, there's a lot there to discuss. Before we get into it, let me just remind everybody. Rahm Emanuel... Um, there was a point, he was in the Obama administration, of course, and there was a point where uh, a quote of his leaked, and it blew up for good reason, because he said uh, he called progressives fucking retarded uh, during, I think it was the Obamacare debate, when, uh, you know, people on the left said, hey guys, you have a super majority, go get single payer. And then people like Rahm said, no, that would make too much sense and would be the proper policy. So oh, let's not do that. And then people on the left said, okay, well, the compromise position is a public option. So maybe we'll accept that, but you really should do single payer. And Rahm said, no, you're fucking retarded. Let's do the right wingers plan. And that's what Obamacare is, for those of you who don't know. It's an individual mandate-style system. An individual mandate system, there was a version of that proposed by Richard Nixon, Republican president. Bob Dole, Republican candidate. Newt Gingrich and Chuck Grassley supported it. The Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing think tank, wrote policy papers on it saying, hey, this is our answer to the Democrats' position, which is supposed to be Medicare for all, single payer. So, um, that's Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel is the kind of guy who calls progressives fucking retarded. Okay, so now, giving that backdrop, let's get into his record. They're giving him credit. Oh, yeah, under your leadership, the Democrats won in 06 and 08. Listen, man, smoke and mirrors. And the reason I say smoke and mirrors is, what was the election in 06 and 08? 
it was nothing but an anti-Bush backlash. We had the war in Iraq. We had the war in Afghanistan. We had the economy starting to collapse in 07. Um, gigantic deficits. We had everything was as bad as could be. Rising inequality. It just horrific Republican leadership for years and years and years. So winning in 06 and 08 is not... It's not like, oh, what's your secret? No, it's... It was in anything but Bush and the Republicans vote. But they wrongly give this guy credit and say, oh, see, the answer is always to be more centrist and more corporate and more neoliberal because that's what Rahm Emanuel says. All right, now let's get into decoding his nonsense. So... He starts off by sound by saying something that on its face sounds pretty reasonable, right? They go, oh, hey, um, you know, what kind of candidates should run, or do you think this is the good proper leadership? He says, I want candidates to reflect the districts. Hmm. Now, again, on its face, granted, that sounds reasonable. This sounds like, you know, what uh, Jerry Brown said the other day, the California governor. He said, look, you don't want somebody, the same candidate that you're going to run in you know, liberal San Francisco to be the same candidate you're going to run in Alabama, right? Um, but what does that really mean when they say that? Oh, it needs to reflect the districts. In other words, hey, in some places, you're going to get a Joe Manchin, a Democrat who's a Republican, basically, and just suck it up and accept it. But hold on, then what are you going to accomplish? What are you going to achieve when you have power? If you have a whole bunch of Joe Manchins running around calling themselves Democrats, you're going to get nothing because they don't agree with you. So if you're going to have somebody who's a Democrat, but a Democrat in name only, and their policies are Republican or Republican light, you haven't accomplished anything because you get power and then what? And then nothing. You don't get any policy goals achieved and you don't help the American people. But see, that's where Rahm Emanuel, he doesn't give a fuck about that part. He's, oh, we're going to win. And then what? Well, we're going to win. But if you're not, if you don't have concrete policy uh, solutions and you're not pushing for those, then why are you even in politics? Because we're going to build a winning coalition and see, we have the most people elected. We win. Yes, but then when you get the debates, like over health care... You have factions in your own party who go, I'm not, I don't want to do the liberal idea. I don't want to do a single payer. I don't even want to do a public option. Now let's do the Republican ideas. What the fuck? No. Then what's the point of being in politics? You never get left-wing policy implemented, the policies you're supposed to be for, if you elect a bunch of right-wingers in the supposedly liberal party. So... I want candidates to reflect the district means shut up and run to the right, be more corporate, be more centrist, be more neoliberal, and that's the only way to win. That's what this guy thinks. Okay, then, if you notice, he's, he, there's a slight contradiction in there. He doesn't realize he's contradicting himself, of course, but he says, he goes from saying, look, I want the candidates to reflect the districts, to then he says, we need to focus on the areas that are winnable, which are suburban metropolitan districts. Whoa, 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 whoa. So what are you leaving out, buddy? What are you leaving out? Rural areas. Why are you leaving out rural areas? Because the only way to win over those rural voters, he says, oh, they're, un they're totally unwinnable. But no, they actually are winnable, but you need populist left economic solutions to win those people over. But in his mind, that's off the table because that would piss off our donors. So therefore, the only winnable districts, suburban metropolitan districts. So in other words, the same fucking quote that Chuck Schumer said, Oh, don't worry. For every, um, you know, for everybody in the, in the basically the left-wing base that Hillary Clinton loses, she'll pick up two basically moderate Republicans in, in suburbia. So this is, again... Snub the base, go after the so-called moderate Republicans, go after the, or the Reagan Democrats, go after the moderates, go after the centrists. Snub the populist left, snub the base, go after the suburban metropolitan districts. This is exactly what the John Ossoff strategy was. And he lost. He lost. He lost. He ran an Obama-like campaign. Oh, I'm centrist. I'm reasonable. I'm above the fray. I'm somewhat right-wing and somewhat left-wing. Look at me. We can come together and be bipartisan. 
and he lost. That's the exact kind of candidate that Rahm Emanuel thinks is the best candidate, and he lost. So, no, it's not, well, only go after the winnable districts, so suburban metropolitan districts. Here's what you need, a 50-state strategy. Go everywhere. Bernie Sanders has been going to fucking Kentucky and West Virginia and giving town halls and giving speeches and holding rallies. Why? Because he actually believes in the ideas and the policies he's pushing for. When you believe in what you're pushing for and you think you're right, why would you, why would you put artificial barriers in front of yourself and say, no, 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 I know I'm reasonable in the borders of New York, but God forbid you put me in Virginia or Mississippi, all of a sudden I'm a douchebag. No, only people who don't believe in what they're saying think that. People who believe in what they're saying say, no, yeah, I'm gonna take my message everywhere. Because even if they don't agree with me now, they're gonna agree with me when they hear me out. But Rahm Emanuel doesn't think like that because he doesn't believe in anything. He's a corporate neoliberal centrist. He'll use whatever bullshit tricks to try to get elected, and then he'll do whatever his donors want. There is no core. And then, at the end, the truth really comes out. It's, it's fast, it's quick, but it comes out. He says, uh, and credit to the CNN host there for continuing to, to push him on it. Okay, but Schumer and Pelosi, good leadership, yes or no? He's like, yeah, I guess so, but that's irrelevant because we, we gotta focus on the individual districts and who should win in those districts. That should tell you everything you need to know about Rahm Emanuel. Schumer and Pelosi, good leaders. Yes, he says. Yes. The, his answer was yes. He tried to breeze over it fast so you didn't catch it, but his answer was yes. Now, let me ask you, anybody who's still defending this Democratic leadership, when they got their asses handed to them repeatedly, they're in no position to be a leader, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and they're not rational. Everybody tries to make Rahm Emanuel, oh my god, genius who found, figured out the winning strategy. Well, he just said, the leaders of the Democratic Party, who are dinosaurs and have been in the party forever, and oversaw the loss of a thousand goddamn seats under Obama. The Democrats lost a thousand seats. In his mind, yes, they're good leaders. Then what the fuck is a bad leader, Rahm? Well, if you go back to 06 or 08, we did well. I just explained to you, that was because it was nothing but an anti-George W. Bush vote. That's why you won. You could have ran a fucking ham sandwich and the cookie monster, and they would have beat any Republican back in 06 and 08. So it's not, it's not like you think you cracked the code. You're defending people who lost a thousand seats and stand for nothing and serve their corporate donors in DC. You are the problem in the Democratic Party, Rahm Emanuel. You're the problem. The answer is Justice Democrats. The answer is Bernie Sanders-style Democrats. The populist left. And guess what? The polling already shows that we're right. He can't- he can never- He can never acknowledge the polls because then he has to admit he's wrong. Why? What do we stand for? Medicare for all. 61% of the American people want Medicare for all. Free college. 58% of the American people want free college. Uh, living wage. 80% of the American people want a living wage. Ending the wars. Only 17% of the American people still want to be in Afghanistan. You go down the list, legalizing marijuana. 60% of the American people want to do that. Now, again, he acts like, yeah, oh, those ideas can't win in certain places. No. Yes, they can. <laughs> yes, they're overwhelmingly popular. They're overwhelmingly popular. You go take a message of populist economics being against outsourcing uh, stupid trade deals, being for Medicare for all and free college and a living wage, being for stronger unions. You go take that message to West Virginia, and that'll kick Joe Manchin's ass up and down all day long. So, but again, he can't go in that direction because Rahm Emanuel and all of his corporate Democrat friends are beholden to their donors, so in their mind, off the table, can't go in that direction. I guess we're gonna have to go to suburban metropolitan areas and try to get moderate Republicans and right-leaning Democrats. That's why the Democrats keep losing. You had your perfect candidate, Hillary Clinton, she lost. You had John Ossoff, your perfect candidate, he lost. You had your shot, you lost a thousand seats. You are wrong, and it's time for you and, and your political philosophy, to the extent you could even call it a political philosophy, to step aside and die, and let the populist left defeat the fake populist right.